Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to today's edition of Intuitive Angling and really appreciate you guys swinging by the channel to check it out, uh, regardless if you're a fan of the channel or a hater of the channel. Uh, much appreciated to having you guys, which is the topic of today's video. Um, we're gonna give you guys the latest round of hater comments. Um, I like to do this about every other month and one of the reasons I like to do it, I, I sort of like to keep everybody abreast of sort of the type of people that are out there. Um, and what you sort of have to deal with as a YouTube creator, you know, if you have an opinion on something. So we're gonna go through this list. I'm gonna read, read, read them to you guys and I think you might find it pretty entertaining. Um, also guys, just wanted to give everybody a quick, uh, just a quick big thank you. Thank you very much for people that have taken time to subscribe here at Intuitive Angling. Um, if you haven't had a chance, I'd like to invite you to subscribe. It's free and easy and you can unsubscribe anytime you want. And a big, big, big thank you to everybody out there that has been bookmarking and uh, using my Tackle Warehouse link I put in the description of every video to buy your tackle. When you use that link to buy something, the channel gets a small percentage of that commission. So a big thank you for me and all my family uh, for people that are doing that. Okay, guys, we'll get right into this. And well, first of all, let me talk a little bit before I get into this, it was sort of about the, the, the dynamic going on here. Um, anytime that one thing that I found is anytime you have an opinion on anything, you're going to get criticized for it. It doesn't matter what it is. And the videos that I do, um, I do a combination of opinion videos and tip videos. And I get hate comments like this all the time, especially when I do any type of, uh, any type of topic like, you know, it could be braid to fluorocarbon or a specific brand of something I like or you know, technology, live scope, my opinion on bed fishing, how I'm against bed fishing, tournaments, you know, doesn't matter what it is, Mental Mondays, if I'm talking about whatever. Um, there's a lot of different stuff out there that people get their panties in a wad about, big time. Not everybody, but s some people here. And I think ultimately, a lot of these people that I'm gonna read you their comments here, I think a lot of them have not, um, they, they haven't been taught at an early age how to play well with others. and. They haven't been taught that when you are having a debate about anything out there, you need to keep the debate respectful and civil and on topic. You don't attack the messenger for that. That's weak when people do that. And I think it's a pretty big character flaw of uh, you know a group of people out there, as you're going to hear from some of these videos here, or some of these comments here. So anyway, what I did, guys, I get, I get these every day. I get hundreds of them. I just pull randomly, pull a few up that sort of stood out for me. And another thing about it is, um, I've always made it clear, is I delete comments from my channel if they contain misinformation or disinformation or conspiracy theories or hateful, vengeful, attacking the messenger type of a thing. I, that's just what I do here. So these obviously have been deleted after after I you know went through them. Okay, the first one, guys, is... Um, Give it up, Grandpa. It's time to it's time to put your old out. It's give it up, Grandpa. It's time to put your old ass out to pasture. Uh, next one is okay, Randy. Stop your whining, you old has been effer. Uh, he did spell effer out. That's just I've abbreviated. Your whole career has sucked. Well, you know I won two million dollars, qualified for eighteen Bassmaster Classics and Forge Wood Cup, and won several Bassmaster tournaments. So. If you think that sucks, you got a pretty high bar on what uh, performance is there. Okay, the next one is you st you're too stupid to use live scope. That's the only reason you talk bad about it. And he misspelled uh, your, he spelled it Y-O-U-R. Um, no, it's not that I'm too stupid to use live scope. I just think it's cheating and I think it's terrible for the sport. I think it's destructive to the sport. We've been over that a billion times. Okay. Randy, you ignorant GD libtard, shut the F up. Nobody wants to hear your GD opinion. That, that's a mouthful there. Um, here's another thing about it. It's like, I have never one single time in the entire time I've had this channel said the word conservative, liberal, independent, whatever. I've never talked about my political viewpoints. I've never said a word about it you get a lot of labels like this because people, pe people, for one thing, when people use terms like this, when they use political labels, most of those people don't understand anything about politics anyway. They don't under understand the ge geopolitical realities of politics. 
they don't understand all the subtleties behind it. Most of them don't understand anything about the Constitution other than reciting the Second Amendment. They could care less about all the other amendments. So um, I get this one a lot for no reason at all. I don't under, really understand what the deal is with that. Okay, the next one, uh, you hypocritical washed up old fool. I see you have a graph and they spelled the graph, they spelled graph G-R-A-H-P on your boat. You're an effing hypocrite. Um, yeah, I have a graph on my boat that's got 2D sonar on it. There's no live scope on it. It was actually the graph that was on the boat when I bought it. And to be honest with you, if I could buy a flasher and put it on my boat, I would use flashers because that's all I use is 2D sonar. I don't use any, I don't use down imaging. I don't use side imaging. Obviously I don't use live scope. So uh, yeah, they're graphs, but they're 2D sonar on there. Okay, Randy, your ignorance amazes me. Don't fall for the lies that the earth is anything over 5,000 years old. Uh, this was from one of my Mill of Mondays videos. I was talking about largemouth bass being on this planet for over 3 million years old. Um, all I'm going to say about this, if you think the earth is 5,000 years old, you probably also think it's flat in the same way. Okay, next one. Um, climate change is a communist hoax, you stupid liberal. You stupid liberal. Okay, climate change is a commie hoax, you stupid liberal F-face. And I, I, again, I, I abbreviated F-face on there. Um, well, if it's, if it's a stupid commie liberal idea, then you might want to talk to the uh, chairman, or the, not only the chairman, but the Joint Chiefs of Staff at the Pentagon, because they have national security plans in a, in a position to address man-made climate change as far as on our national security for, front. You also might want to check in with Elon Musk. I don't agree with Elon Musk on everything, but he's a big uh, climate change advocate. Um, so he's, you might check with Elon and the uh, Joint Chiefs of Staff on that comment there. <clears throat> okay. Um, next one, I got a crack out of this and this one made me laugh. Randy, I'll fight you all G damn G abbreviation. I'll fight you all G damn day long. Uh, this is a line from Rip Wheeler out of Yellowstone. I don't know if this guy was trying to be serious or trying to goof on me or whatever, but this is actually Rip Wheeler, Whip Wheeler, Whip Wheeler in, in a Yellowstone said this in one of the episodes there. Um, says he's going to fight me all day long. He's probably, uh, now, obviously saying this from the safety of his mom and dad's basement on the, on the keyboard down there. Um, okay, Randy, I don't care if you fish thousands of days and over 50 years, you still don't know Jack, S-H-I-T. Well, whatever on that. And the, the last one I put down, is like, hang it up, you washed up old effer. Um, and, they, and it says, you're, ir you're irrelevant and always have and always will be. And he misspelled, misspelled your, spelled it while you are. So anyway, guys, that is a, uh, just a sampling of the stuff that I get every day out there. Um, again, like I said, I, I, I sort of feel sorry for people like that because it's like, obviously, they, 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 obviously they're trying to make a point. And the, the way that they come out making their point comes across that makes them look just like, you know, angry, ignorant, whatever out there. So um, one of the things I'd like to encourage you, if you're one of those people out there that send hate mail, um, it doesn't do any good because like I said, I just delete the comments out there. If you don't agree with me on something, whatever it is, I completely respect that. Whatever I'm talking about, let's have a civil debate. If I'm talking about life scope, climate change, braid bra to fluorocarbon, whatever it is, Give me, give me an intelligent rebuttal from your opinion on the issue. Leave me out of it. I, I'm just a broken down sign pointing the way. Address the issue. If you're incapable of addressing the topic and you, the only thing you can do is attack the messenger, um, it's just a waste of your time because the comments are going to get deleted. But I know this is a small minority. And another thing about it, guys, I get... You know, between all three of my channels, I get over two million views, a, a, two million views a month on all my YouTube channels. So when you're dealing with two million people out there, you're going to get people out there. That's just the nature, sort of the way human nature is. So it just sort of comes with the territory with that. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys. I'll be back in a, you know a couple months, and I'll give you the, the the next latest round of hater comments because there's no shortage of them out there. And um, again, I appreciate you guys checking in the channel, even the haters that watch it, because that adds up to watch time too. So much appreciated. We'll talk to you guys later.